Welcome, TDB family and friends, to this week, midweek morning prayer. Let us go before the Father with humble heart and bow down heads. Let us go before Him in the best manner we know how. Blessed is the man whom you instruct, O Lord, and teach out of your law, that you may give him rest from the days of adversity until the pit is dug for the wicked. For the Lord will not cast off his people, nor will he forsake his inheritance, but judgment will return to righteousness, and all the upright in heart will follow it. Father, we come and bless you, and we ask once again that you give us rest from the days of adversity. Father, let us rest in your will. Let us rest in your way. Let us rest in your word, Lord God. Father, for you told the Son, Lord God, to, Lord God, sit down at your right hand until you make his enemies his footstool. Father, let us rest in Christ until you make our enemies our footstool. Father, for we are the head and not the tail. We are above and not beneath. We, Lord God, are the lenders and not the borrowers. Father, I ask, let us enter into your rest. Father, let us rest knowing that you are in control. Let us rest, Lord God, knowing that you sit high and yet you look low. Your eyes run to and fro, Lord God. Father, nothing gets past you, Lord God, for you know all things. You know all the rest. Father, we know in parts, but you know the rest. You know our past, you know our present, but you also know the rest. You know our future, and the future is in your hand, Lord God, and not ours. We put our trust in you and no one else, Lord God. Father, we acknowledge you in all thy ways, and you will direct our path, Father God. Father, we rest in you. Let us rest, Lord God, knowing that you love us. Let us rest. Lord God, knowing that you've anointed us, let us rest, Lord God, knowing that you've given us all things that pertain to life and death, all things that pertain to godliness, Lord God. Father, you've given us everything we need. For you told Abraham, I've already given you this. You've given us everything, Lord God. Father, it was your word that said, Lord God, let thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is. In heaven, it's already done. Let us rest, Lord God. It already is. Let us rest, Lord God. I'm not trying to toil and, and struggle in the flesh, but be led by the Spirit. For those who are led by the Spirit are truly sons of God. Father, your word, Lord God, continue to lead and guide us. I pray that your Spirit go forth, Lord God. Make the crooked road straight and the rough places smooth, Lord God. Break the bars of iron that tried to hinder us from opportunity, from righteousness, from justice, from healing, from deliverance. Father, I ask you, Lord God, let us take rest. Lord God, also, Lord God, that you care about the rest, not just the ones who are saved, but the ones who are not saved, Lord God, the ones who don't know you. You care about the rest, Lord God. Lord God, I ask you, Lord God, for those who are unsaved in our families, Lord God, in our communities, Lord God, in this great nation, Lord God, and in this world, don't forget the rest, Lord God. The rest, Lord God. Father, we're, we're just mortal men and can't do everything, but you can do all things, Lord God. Jesus says, have faith in God, Lord God, for that which is impossible for men are possible for God. Don't forget about the rest, Lord God. As you fed the 5,000 men, plus women and children, Lord God, it was you who told the disciples to gather up the fragments. In other words, don't forget about the rest, Lord God. Father, you care about our rest, not only, Lord God, physically, Lord God, but you care about our rest spiritually, Lord God. You care about our souls, Lord God, being made whole, being complete and lacking nothing, Lord God. Not only do you care about us physically and spiritually, Lord God, you care about us financially, Lord God. The rest. Father God, you ask, Lord God, that when we get increased to bring forth the tithe, 
10% to you. You're telling us, don't forget about the rest. But you said, if we bring the rest, Lord God, you will give us rest. Why? Because you said you open up the windows of heaven and pour us out a blessing. We won't have room enough to receive, Lord God. And not only that, you will rebuke the devourer for our sake. Oh, my God. Thank you, Father. That tells us you're going to give us more rest, Lord God. We can rest, Lord God, knowing, Lord God, that you're going to send the rain. We can rest, Lord God, knowing you're going to send the increase. We can rest, Lord God, knowing you're going to send the favor. We can rest, Lord God, knowing, Lord God, you shall keep the enemy at bay, Lord God, that when he tries to come in like a flood, you will lift up a standard, Lord God. And we can rest as Noah and his family did in the ark. No matter how high the waves went, no matter how high the waters went, Lord God, they rested, Lord God, in your word, and you carried them, Lord God, to a higher place, Lord God, that when it was all said and done and the water, Lord God, receded, Lord God, they rested on a mountain, a place they didn't crawl, Lord God, a place they didn't walk to, Lord God, a place, Lord God, they didn't have to try to toil up on their own, Lord God, and get over, Lord God. But you carried them, Lord God, to the rest. You had them, Lord God, to the rest of the places that you prepared for them. And rest is what you prepared for us all, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for the rest. I pray those who are listening right now come into agreement with me. And have rest, not just sleep, but rest, knowing that their, Lord God, are abundantly supplied. All their needs are met according to the riches in Christ Jesus. So, Father, we thank you, Lord God. We bless you. We love you. We give you glory, Lord God, and honor for it all belongs to you. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray that all heard this come in agreement and take good pleasure and rest. Enjoy the rest of your week. God bless you.